everybody. My name is Amy and this is Amy Reads. Today I want to share with you all some reading goals that I've made for myself for next year, for 2018. Um, I didn't really make any reading goals for myself for 2017 other than I set a Goodreads reading goal of 100 books. I started my booktube the very beginning of January last year. So at the end of the year last year I was mostly thinking of creating a channel and of sort of getting all of that in order and I wasn't thinking as much about the reading aspect as much as I was thinking about getting my booktube channel off the ground. So now that I've been on booktube for almost a year, I am thinking about some reading goals that I have for next year. So I have come up with five things and I would like to share them with you all. So without further ado, let's get to it. I looked back on my statistics for this year and I will include my final 2017 statistics on, you know, um, how many books I read, pages, authors, you know, um, whether they were people of color, LGBTQ, you know, all that kind of stuff in a later video at the very tail end of the year, beginning of next year. But I looked back on my statistics for the year so far and I've done pretty good with reading nonfiction as far as I think I've read 10 or 15 nonfiction books out of the 90 something books that I've read this year. So my, one, my first goal for 2018 is to read at least as much if not more nonfiction in 2018. Um, I do really enjoy reading some nonfiction and I think that I sometimes shy away from it because it can put me in a bit of a slump. It certainly doesn't like fly by like a contemporary novel would. Um, so, and I tend to read a lot of maybe like memoirs or uh, comedians books or things like that, uh, which I want to continue to read, but I also just enjoy reading nonfiction on topics that I'm interested in. So I want to keep that up and um, possibly increase the amount of nonfiction that I read next year as well. There is one book that I have really been wanting to read for a long time um, and I just think that I would get a lot out of it and I somehow don't own it and have not read it yet and that is Wild by Cheryl Strayed. Um, if you've read this book I'd be interested to hear your thoughts on it but I have heard from a lot of people that it is wonderful and that the movie is really great as well so I'd like to of course read the book first and then watch the movie with, with Reese Witherspoon. Um, and of course there was, uh, if you're a Gilmore Girls fan like I am, it's my favorite show of all time, you know that there was actually a pretty big storyline with Lorelai and, and reading the book Wild and going on her own Wild-esque adventure. Um, and while I loved that storyline and, and I still found entertainment in it, um, I think I'd get even more from it having read the book. Um, but I have wanted to read this book for several years now. So that is a goal that I have for 2018 is to read Wild by Cheryl Strayed. I don't know when I'll read it. I'd like to buy myself a copy of it though and go for it because I just think that um, also as someone who has lost a parent um, in, in, you know, it was just two years ago. So I think that I could really just, I think it would enrich me and, and I would get a lot out of it. So if you have read Wild, as I'm sure a lot of you had, it's a very popular book, uh, that also goes into my reading more nonfiction for the year. So that is one book I would love to get read in 2018. I'm also going to participate in the Pop Sugar 2018 Reading Challenge. Um, I have not found, I, I've not looked yet, but, well I have looked, but it's been a little while. Epic Reads might have their challenge of their Read Harder Challenge as well. So I might participate in that as well and kind of double up books if need be. But Pop Sugar also has a challenge that they do every year and I'm really feeling a lot of the prompts this year. So I will link that down below if you're also interested. If Epic Reads has their Read Harder Challenge up yet, I will also link that down below. So I'll definitely do the Pop Sugar and then also maybe do the Epic Reads as well and um, just kind of, you know, not do a bunch of separate books, but just combine them for different categories. I also would like to read more diversely. Um, I didn't really make a point to read diversely this year. I wasn't necessarily conscious of it. I have been keeping track of um, all of my books and whether or not my authors, you know, are um, of the LGBTQ community. Are they people of color? Are they from the United States? Are they from the UK? Are they from other countries? Um, I have been keeping track of that. So going back and looking at it, um, I definitely had some diversity. I read a ton of women authors, like 
I would say 80% of who I read this year were women authors. Um, and so I do have some diversity in there, but I just want to make a point in 2018 to be more conscious of reading more diverse books. And that can be, you know, of course, racial, sexual, um, cultural, all kinds of diversity. Um, just people who are different than me and lead different lives than I do. Um, because I think that that is the key to being a productive part of society is to understand uh, others and do the best that we can to understand others and to help them as much as we can um, especially if we are in a uh, position of privilege so anyways I want to read more diversely I want to experience more in books so I'm going to make a more conscious effort of that in 2018 and the last goal that I have for the year is actually to um, value quality over quantity a little bit more. Not that I am not reading quality books, but I set my Goodreads goal for 100 this year, and I also set it for 100 last year. Last year was the first year that I decided I was going to try to read 100 books. It was something that I would had on my honest-to-goodness bucket list, because I keep a literal <laughs> bucket list in a Word document, because I'm a huge nerd, um, and read 100 books in a year was on there. And so last year, uh, so 2016, at the beginning of the year, I had started reading a ton as a distraction and coping mechanism to deal with my father's death. And so by February, I'd read like, like 20 or 30 books by February, which was, I mean, I was always a reader, but that was a lot for me. And so I got to thinking, well, you know, maybe I'll try to read 100 books. And it felt good to have something to work towards. And so last year I read 116 and this year I have not quite read 100 yet. And I don't know that I'm going to meet that goal. So I think that, um, and, and I read a lot of amazing things this year, but I think I'm going to maybe cut my Goodreads goal down to 50 or 70 books. Um, and that way I can focus a little bit more on quality and maybe not, I don't know, maybe I'll still feel really compelled to read a lot, but maybe not feel as much pressure or feel as though I am somehow failing. Like I'm probably not going to hit a hundred books. And so the other day I realized that and was like, man, I can't believe I'm not going to hit a hundred books. And I felt like a failure. And I thought, oh my God, I've read 94 books this year. <laughs> like that's insane. I should never feel like, you know, I haven't excelled at something just because I didn't meet that particular goal. So um, it'll be the first time that I've really just tried to um, maybe again focus on quality over quantity. I'm going to be doing these reading challenges of course and um, uh, so we will see how many books I read. I don't know if it will be a ton or not but I think I might lessen my Goodreads goal a little bit and just focus a little bit more on that as well. Okay guys, so that is it. Those are my 2018 reading goals. I am really excited for all of these like end of the year videos that we've got going on. I've got some great stuff coming up. Of course, I'm gonna come up with a top 10, oh God, that's so hard, a top 10 books of 2017 list. I am going to do a top 10 movies of 2017 because I am a movie lover. That is also a near impossible list to make. Um, there's gonna be a lot of honorable mentions we might have to do top 17 of 2017. I don't know. And I'm going to do some favorite covers. I'm going to do a year in review, first year on booktube sort of thing. Uh, so anyway, stay tuned. I'm so grateful to you all for watching. And uh, please share with me down below what some of your reading goals are for 2018, how you did on some 2017 goals, if you had them as well. I would absolutely love to hear about them. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure that you give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe and share and do all that amazing stuff. And I will be back soon with more book talk. Bye.